Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this uh, given logarithmic equation. Before we get started I want to make sure that we isolate this logarithmic part only. So for that thing I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. So once we did this thing this is gone. So simply we ended up with log of with a base 4 of 2 power x plus 48 equals to x minus 1. So this is this equation is in logarithmic form. We want to make things easier. To make things easier we want to convert it into an exponential form. And here's the fact that we're going to be using right now. If you want to convert it from logarithmic form to an exponential form, this is what we're going to do. In our this case, this is our base B, this is A, and this part is C. So we're going to go ahead and convert it into exponential form. So that is going to look like 4 power x minus 1 equals to 2 power x plus 48. So far so good. Now I want you to look at this part over here on the left hand side. I want to just write it down for right here somewhere 4 power x minus 1. Can we write it like this way 4 power x times 4 power negative 1, the basic rules of exponent. Next thing, you know that 4 power negative 1 is same as 1 over 4. So far so good. So this could be written as 4 power x over 4. Now, one more thing we want to do, okay, over here. I want you to just look at the top part 4 power x now 4 power x could be written as 4 power x right now 4 I can write 2 power 2 and then power x isn't it now whenever you have two exponents you multiply them out so that means this could be written as 2 power 2x so that means this whole thing, this could be written as 4 power x becomes simply 2 power 2x divided by 4. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this one and this one. Okay, so I'm going to replace this whatever by 2 power 2x over 4. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like 2 power 2x over 4 equals to 2 power x plus 48. Now we want to make things a little bit more simple again and for that reason and we're going to be using substitution method. So I'm going to say let u equals to 2 power x then u power 2 u squared is going to become 2 power x and then power 2. Once again we have a two exponents. If you have a two exponent you multiply them out so this become 2 power 2x. So u squared turns out to be this one. So now this part u equals to 2 power x and u squared equals to 2 power 2x we're gonna replace over here. So wherever you see 2 power 2x and 2 power x. So that what is going to happen is this simply become u square over 4 equals to u plus 48. So far so good. Now what we're going to do is I want you to get rid of this 4 over here. So I want to multiply across the board by 4. 4 over here, 4 over here. 
So this what happens is this 4 and 4 is gone. So we ended up with u square equals to this become 4 u plus 192. So the next step what I want you to do is go ahead and move everything on the left hand side. So we're going to have then u square minus 4 u minus 192 equals to 0. And this is a quadratic equation with a u variable. So we can easily go ahead and factor out. So what are the possible factors? So the factor is going to be u minus 16 and u plus 12. So now we're going to split them up. I'm going to put u minus 16 equal to 0 and the other is going to be a u plus 12 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and solve for u. So u is going to be 16 and on this side u is going to be negative 12. Now we want to go back to our x variable. We want to revert back to x. So how much was u? u was equal to 2 power x. Let's go back. So this u is going to simply become 2 power x equal to 16. So far so good. Now 2 power x, 16 could be written as 2 power 4. So as you can see over here, as long as your bases are same, two base they are same that means these your your exponents are equal so i can write x equal to 4 is one of our solution let's go back to the second one so u was equal to negative 12 we're going to go ahead and replace u by 2 power x over here equals to negative 12 as you can see that by just looking at it that this statement is false. Why? Because there is no value of x that you take the power of that one, power of 2, could give you negative 12. So that means this is impossible. So this is not. So only possibility of solution is x equals to 4. Now finally we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So wherever you see x you replace this x by 4 and see what happens. So this is this is going to become log of base 4 and then this is going to become 2 power x is 4 plus 48 plus 1 equals to 4, isn't it? So I can write log of base 4. 2 power 4 is 16 plus 48 and then plus 1. I want you to move this 1 on the other side. That's going to become 4 minus 1 because we want to just isolate log over here. So this simply become log of 16 plus 48 becomes 64 with the base 4 equals to 4 minus 1 is 3. And finally we want to convert this logarithmic notation form to an exponential form by using this fact over here. So that means 4 power 3 is going to give us 64. So 4 power 3 is 64 and on the right hand side 64. My question is, is this statement true or false? Yes, indeed this statement is true. Thus x equal to 4 is indeed our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.